Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, as you can see, today we are going to be planning in my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, I wanted to show you my new cover. I got this cover from Stylish Planner. Here is the front and here is the back. I loved the penguin on it and I thought it was perfect for winter. Um, and it says I don't do winter. Okay, so we are going to flip to this week. We are going to be planning for the very first week in January. We're going to plan it January 1st through the 7th in my Erin Condren Life Planner. And this is the kit we're going to be using. Um, this is from GP Sticker Studio and this is the uh, Black Friday sampler. I bought this on Black Friday. So here's the sampler. Okay, this is her New Year's Eve kit. So I loved the pink in it and I really wanted that. You have your date covers, your deco, and your um, double full box, checklist, sidebar items, spill dues, functional icons, some headers, a big Happy New Year sticker, um, checklist, literally checklist, cute, full boxes, and I love these. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. This says this is the beginning of anything you want. Um, half boxes, quarter boxes, some more headers, little things, washi. Okay, so that is the kit I will be using for this week. I might not use this Black Friday sampler, uh, but it is gorgeous. So I will be using this kit. I have all my other stickers over here to this side. Um, I have all my washi for my washi banner. And I have all my tools, so um, I am going to go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, I'm going to start with my bottom washi and the way that I did my bottom washi is I left a little space at the top and put it as close to the bottom as I could, just covering up, all, making sure I cover up those lines that are down there. Then I'm moving on to my washi banner. I pre-cut all of my washi into um, pre-made flags so it would be easier to just stick it down. And she had two little flags in her kit, which I love, so I tried to incorporate those. I love how this washi banner turned out with the foil and the glitter and the pink and the black. It just all came together very nicely. So I'm putting all this down and getting it how I like it. Um, trying to space out all those colors. And then uh, I'm going to cut off the top. And I struggled with this a little bit. I couldn't get that top cut off um, that well. Uh, it was the uh, washi strips that were from her kit. I had a hard time getting those cut just right. So you will see me struggle at this point, but I finally get it. And um, after I finally finish this, I'm going to move on to my sidebar. I'm going to put the quote box in that little box right there. That's, and the quote box is, this is the beginning of anything you want. Felt like that was a great quote for the beginning of the new year. I'm going to cover the flag with the flag she provided in the kit. Next, I'm moving on to my habit tracker, and I'm taking my custom header, script header from uh, Rose Colored Days, and it just says birth control. I like to mark that I took my birth control every day. Then I'm taking some washi, and I'm taking um, some the second... Uh, custom script I have for most color days and it says grateful for I take the weekly, weekly sidebar tracker and I like to track something that I'm grateful for every single day I got this idea from stick with me shop she is here on YouTube and just so you know that these stickers in the GP sticker studio kit are not removable um, I struggle with laying them down straight so I try and remove them but they will tear, tear up your paper and your Aaron Condren Next, I'm taking another washi strip, and I am going to stick a header over that that says work, um, and then I will stick down a checklist down below that. I want to um, put down what I want to post on Instagram that week. Uh, I'm still not completely set on my sidebar yet. I'm still working on it. I've changed it for the past, like, three weeks of what I want on it. Um, but I'm thinking this Instagram thing is what I want to do. 
Moving on to Monday. I'm going to put down a little um, glitter header that she provided in the kit. She provided seven, and they have an ombre effect. Mm. Then I'm going to leave a little space to write Hello January. I always like to write Hello um, to introduce whatever month. And then I'm going to put down a bill due. My house payment is due that day. Then I'm going to take a car icon from the kit to mark that down that we will be driving home. We are spending New Year's Eve at my mom's, just hanging out and having some game time, game night and all that. So I took this full box with the dress and the bottles that say 2018. I thought that was perfect for Monday. It's the first day of 2018. I'm taking a little thing and I'm going to cover up the um, icon with one of those Clever Gal craft bows. And that colorway that I am using is her, um, I believe that's her Miranda colorway. And I am using silver foil. Then I am putting down my to-do list. Um, I took the uh, checklist and I cut it down to three. Then I'm going to take a quarter box and one of the um, those cute little emojis from the Coffee and Monsters Co. and the little reindeer to mark down. I'm going to say goodbye to Christmas and take all my Christmas items down. Starting off on Tuesday, I'm going to start with my to-do list. I love starting with something different every day. I saw Soda Pop Studio does this, and I love her planning. She is like my ideal planner. I love watching her plan. Then I am putting a full box at the bottom of that day because I wanted to make sure that I got my full box there. And so I could kind of see how much space I had to work with. I'm putting down another little thing and covering the icon with one of those bows to mark another upload. I'm using those to mark my uploads for the week. Then I'm taking a washi strip and I'm going to layer over the grocery icon because I need to go grocery shopping. I know I will. Uh, we go grocery shopping weekly just to kind of grab whatever we need for that week. I'm taking a milk icon and put it down. I only mark when I cook. Those are the only meals I mark. I'm taking this workout um, box from Little Miss Papery. I love these. And my one of my goals for 2018 is to get back in shape, watch what I eat. So, And then I combined that with one of the Fox and Pip workout girls. I love those little girls with her and her little headphones. This is exactly what I'm going to be looking at. Mine is showing belly. Then I'm going to put down starting Wednesday off with a full box. I love the full boxes in this kit. They're just perfect. Then I'm taking a bill due. And I showed you that little sheet. I got this idea from Lindsay Morgan Plans here on YouTube. Um, she does her leftovers from her kits. She puts that on like a leftover um, sticker sheet. And that's, I stole that idea, and that's what I'm doing. I loved the idea. Then I'm going to do a to-do list and put three little checklists down there. Then, um, yes, I do move on to this. I am putting down a half box and putting down those Once More With Love little best friend stickers. Uh, my best friend is coming over that day, and we are going to watch the Psych movie. We are huge Psych fans, and I've not watched the movie yet, so we will be doing it that day. And then I try and play with the placement of the uh, Fox and Pip girl. I put another workout, uh, Little Miss Papery workout boxes, and the Fox and Pip workout girls. And then I'm ending the day with a um, meal little thing because I will be cooking that day. Moving on to, oh, sorry, excuse me. Moving on to Thursday, starting off with a glitter header, then putting a bill due. I have two bills due that day, but I'm just going to put it on the same one. I have a, my AT&T and my furniture bill due. I'm putting one of those workout um, boxes down and the little miss, oh, sorry, and the fox and pip girl. Um, then I do a full box. And then I'm going to put down my uh, quarter box with a little flag and um, take one of those um, foiled, silver foiled film scripts from Magic Prince Co. Then put a to-do list down, a three checklist to-do list. 
And then I'm going to end my day with, um, oh, I played around with probably putting my editing in the to-do list, but then I decided that I probably won't have time that day to do my editing. So I took it out. And then I, I cut you off on that. You couldn't see it. But I ended the day with a uh, mill little thing. Starting off Friday with a to-do list. I cut it down to three like I always do. Then I'm going to do a one of those quarter boxes again with a little flag and do a um, Magic Prince Co. film script again. Then I'm going to end my day with a full box. And right above that, I'm going to put one of the little things with the little play button and put one of my Magic Prince Co. scripts that says edit down. Then I'm going to take this. This is the Mom Mamby sticker book. And I am taking the game day sticker from it because there is a basketball game that day that I have to go to. I am a cheer sponsor. So I have to go and I have to kind of just make sure the girls are doing what they're supposed to do. So I've layered that over a washi strip. Moving on, I put the weekend banner down, which just says Happy New Year. I thought that was adorable. I love how she did that as the weekend banner. And then this part you're a little cut off for, but I layer the laundry sticker over some washi. And I stick that down. On Saturday, I like to start the uh, Oh my gosh, I can't speak now. I like to start the laundry on Saturday. I put one of those hearts down. I like to use hearts to mark uh, something, anything that has to do with my boyfriend. He is working that day. He usually works every Saturday. So I'm using that to mark it. Then I put another play button down, um, play a little thing down, and put the edit script. That dog is um, from Nikki Plus 3, and I am just marking that I need to give uh, our dog a bath that day. That is actually the wrong dog. Um, he is not a corgi. He is actually a um, Pomeranian. I bought the wrong dog, yes. Then I put one of those little quarter boxes with the flag again and put the film script in there from Magic Prince Co. At the very bottom, I put a half box with her um, date night uh, icon or functional sticker in the corner. I love her little date night stickers. Then above that, I put a um, little thing and layered over the flag from Clever Girl Crafts, or the bow from Clever Girl Crafts again to mark an upload. Starting off on Sunday, I put an icon to mark that I need to clean our kitchen that day. I know it's a vacuum, but she didn't have any other icon or cleaning thing. I put a little thing with a bow from Clever Girl Crafts again to mark another upload. Then I put, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of that? An icon, a grocery icon to mark that I'm going to have to go get groceries for the next week that day. Um, put a little thing with a play button and the edit script from Magic Prints Co. down. Put a half box and then a quarter box with the little flag again to mark that I need to film in that half box. I'm going to be taking from the basic Man V sticker book. I'm taking that piece of night and it was my last one. Now I'm going to date. Oh, first I'm going to do this flag and I struggled with this flag for some reason. I could not get it to line up right. Um, so I did it the best I could and thank goodness the date covers covered it um, to where you can't tell that it's not perfect. See, I am struggling. Just look at me. Okay, so I'm going to date my um, date covers, and then I'm going to stick those up at the top. I just love these date covers. I just think they're so pretty, and they added, they just like finished off the spread really nicely, because I thought the black at the top was just too harsh with this. I just felt like this kit was very soft, and I know I use the black pen, but... Um, so I'm putting down my date covers now and I'm going to white out the January on the first because the date cover would not cover it. So I'm going to stick that down and then next I'm going to stick a new year sticker from a Mamby sticker book. 
Okay guys, here's how this spread turned out. I wrote everything in and then I showed you at the beginning I used a Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in .7. This is in black. I added some of the deco up to the top, what I could. Wrote everything in and this is what I have left in the kit. So um, I still have this double full box, some deco, date dots. Um, still have all the today headers, some to do, some of the glitters and some of the functional. I have this whole sheet of the checklist, um, some washi, some of these check flags, checklists, some of those appointment things, uh, full boxes, little things, and then I have two of the full boxes left. Okay, so um, I will probably be using these in my um, mini planner. So this is how this week turned out. I have a couple of spots that I can add things as they come up. And some of uh, my checklists are not filled out yet because I don't know what I need to do. So this is how everything turned out. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.